Let's keep this shit up, Blue. Easy to tell when he's appearing. Ding twenty eight. So we're in a copycat. Fuck that. Welcome back. Finally, someone to talk to. If I walked away. Well, I mean, he'll be back, but... <sighs> Fucking eruption. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, you've not said anything in, like, ten freaking minutes. So, there. I'm leveling to 29. Alright, how much did I miss? Uh... Ding 28. Oh, nice. Other than that, uh... Piggy's back. 29, by the way. Uh, hmm? yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to, uh... <clears throat> Gym leader, minus two. Which, I, you know, like, no coincidence whatsoever is usually the level of their weakest Pokemon. Typically, yeah. But usually, by the time I reach them, I've, uh... You know, met yeah. or mildly exceeded their highest. Yeah. You know what I only just now realized? Hmm? I didn't announce this on either Kafuka or Nuzlocke forum. Oh, jeez. Oops. That's why there's no audience. Probably, yeah. But then again, the only one that comes from Kafuka is already here. Good point. I'm actually kind of tired of hearing Ambush, because I've been to the boss rush with Maggie three times and died. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, could you tell me something? Is there an item that causes uh, <clears throat> Red Hearts to spawn more often? I'm sure there is, but I couldn't tell you what it is offhand either. Because uh, <clears throat> I... Somehow got Carrion Queen over the spikes in the uh, southwestern corner of the room, yeah. and she exploded into like ten half hearts. Huh. No idea what it was. It's just like here's a shit ton of red hearts that you can't use because you get, you picked up uh, Dead Cat, and you know everything that hits you here is going to kill you. Oh boy. It's like gee. Thanks. Yeah. And of course, you know, once you die with a uh, dead cat, you get shunted out of the room. Yep. And of course, it had already been... Well, actually, it didn't matter that it was, like, 27 minutes into the run. Uh, the... If you try to go back in there after the boss rush already starts, it won't start again. Yep. Okay, bringing Eclipse here was probably a terrible idea. Because I forgot what? Electrode has... Woodhammer. Ew. 
capable of the fact that it hits um, uh, sub neutrally. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Do you remember how much experience uh, Snorlax is worth? Is it decent? I think so, yeah. So I'm gonna come up to the uh, Relic Castle and fight a little bit on uh, floor one. Alright. Because remember, I ran into Snorlax and I was like, fuck! Yeah, yeah, that was a thing. Well, I'm not even concerned about learning a, a good move. I'm just concerned with learning a move that can be used. And why is there nothing appearing? Thank you. Snorlax, level 20. Go for the bolt strike. Why do you have bull strike, fat ass? You don't want to know. Yeah, ow, that hurts. Oh yeah! Fuck, that's right. Eh? Eclipse has stench. Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me, trap. Fuck. It's a rock and it smells bad. Uh, must be a meteorite. Well, it is from space. True. Welcome back, Zidane. Hey, welcome back, buddy. Jolteon! Cuts it down a little bit. It's one of the better songs from Final Fantasy VII. I haven't played Final Fantasy VII in a long time. Same here. I'll get to it again eventually, I'm sure. Can Metalhead learn anything? Cause his move shit who's his move set shit too. Oh wait, yeah it is. Sorry, Final Fantasy VIII. I don't think this was set. I'm fucking. I'm half asleep. <laughs> this is one of the boss themes, and uh. Still heat eight. exhausted, I guess, right? A little bit. I cooled down considerably. That's good. Where's the move deleter? Driftill? Possibly? I don't know. Because if I can get rid of Cut, I'm going to. So if I can teach Dig to um, Metalhead, that'd be good. Because that at least gives me something to fight the Garbiters and shit on uh, Route 6 with. I think they're actually worth experience. Yeah.
Uh, could you look that up on Bulbapedia for me? Sure, give me a second. So I wanted the house I thought it was, but... That may be the house it's in in Black 2, White 2, I don't know. Hmm. It's in Miss Stralton City on the house east of the Pokemon Center. Of course. Yep. Yep. Thing is, I don't trust fighting Napoleon. Well, with Octazooka. Ooh! Shogun has color change as one of its abilities. Well, that's pretty weird. I can exploit that. Definitely. In fact, why I didn't go for the easy fucking change it to steel and hit it with fighting. I probably won't figure out. <laughs> This one doesn't have it. Ow! Dragon Rush hurt. Yeah. Yep. 100 power. Yeah, Shogun does not play nicely with Lunatone. I mean, yeah, Agility and Rock Throw are laughable, but, uh... Dragon Everything Rush and Foul else. Play? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, while well, my moon shits rocks. <laughs> Shame that seismic toss isn't gonna be useful till like level fifty. Yeah. Uh are you talking about like leave Brittany alone from like two thousand seven? Fuck. That's an old meme. Dear lord, that that is, I forget how old this shit is sometimes. I don't know. Lately, I'm just used to seeing Pepe everywhere. God, fuck that thing. <laughs> rare Pepe. <laughs> if he's so rare, why am I seeing him everywhere? Ugh. I think I hate, like, most memes. Most of them are pretty fucking terrible. Some of them are funny. Yeah, there's some that are funny, but a lot of them are just forced. Well, welcome to 4chan. Yep. Yeah, the only thing I can hit this thing with is Charge Beam. Yeah. Granted, the climbing power means I'm hitting it like a fucking truck.
Would you prefer I said Tumblr? Oh wait, that would trigger you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's right, I went there. Although, yeah, that is pretty much everywhere on that site for some reason. Yeah. It's like, um, uh, fuck. I can't remember who, who it was exactly, but, um, Tyson Hess retweeted a, a girl who, um, you know, an Asian girl yeah. from China, you know, Chinese heritage, who uses yeah. some, um, some of the characters in her art signature. And someone's like, oh my god! Sis uh, way, man! <laughs> other stupid fucking bullshit that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. And she was just like, huh, I'm Chinese, go outside. I've seen actual Japanese people get pushed off of the website when they uh, ramble about Japanese culture things. Oh my god. Yeah, it's uh, not really a website Tumblr with smart people Tumblr needs to pull it. its head out of its ass. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of toxic websites out there, and everyone's like, why don't you have a Tumblr? I'm like, I don't want to be part because, of that horse shit. Because 99% of everybody there is a fucking moron. I mean, I'll admit I'm not the smartest person, but I do know toxicity when I see it. Yeah. Oh, cool. The uh, mono ice you were telling me about on Monday? Yep. How'd that go for yep. you? Gotcha. Please ding 29, damn it. Will this dumb rock level up already? God damn it. Well, no kidding. I could have told you that. I mean, it is vanilla Pokemon. <laughs> Not exactly yeah. hard. Yeah, I don't think there's, you know, ever been a single vanilla Pokemon game that's actually been really hard. Not really. Nothing in recent memory. As a matter of fact, everything just seems toothless now. Oh yeah. Sixth gen is, like, even worse. To the point that the only way they made anything challenging was that they forced you to fight Omega Evolved Legendary in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, but that's post-game. That hardly counts. No, yes, I'm talking female about and male game. rape happens, rape. Trap. They force you to fight Primal Kyogre, uh, version of Legendary, which may as well just be a Mega version. Yeah. Except that both can exist on the same team, and still True. be valid. Because balance. Because, you know, let's not forget that, you know, fucking Me Mega Rayquaza can, you know, Mega Evolve and still I have an do. item. Yeah. yeah. 800 base stat total. S fucking free item slot. What? Yeah. Yeah, and it's... Like, I read a Cracked article, which, you know, talked about the absurdity of it all. But, yeah, it's a real problem that exists, and most guys get laughed at when it happens to them. Because nobody right. fucking believes it. Basically, you know, the whole culture is fucked, and people are only focusing on, like, 5% of that. Yeah. Relative to... It's because fucking fear is broken as fuck. I'm surprised that wasn't banned at some point. <laughs> fucking Focus Sash, Endeavor, a Quick Attack, Rattata. Yeah. Fucking evil, annoying rodents. I don't know, have you seen the fucking RN version of it? Yeah, that's even more bullshit. Yeah, Endeavor, fucking... Uh, Sandstorm, Endeavor, 
and a fucking shell bell. Shell bell, yeah. Granted, they nerfed the fuck out of it with uh, yeah. Gen Six because it's not like you can, you know, abuse Infinite Sandstorm anymore. Yeah. See ya, pig. See ya, buddy. Well, it pretty much works with any rock, steel, or ground that can get sturdy in Endeavor. There's a Probo Pass version in case you want, you know... A... Oh, that's what I was reacting to. Yeah, I know. I'm sick. In, in case you want something that looks vaguely like a Jewish stereotype on your team. Name it Nigel. Smash it! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> uh, that magic goat. I hope Harioma doesn't have a fighting type attack. Also, is it just me or is it incredibly fucking hilarious that Hariyama has icy wind in cold storage? <laughs> That's too good. I honestly wonder if uh, we chased Bob and Pig out because we were talking about uh, some hot button issues. Yeah, this, I was kind of wondering because this is getting a little bit. Uh... Yeah, that got a little heavy there for a while. Yeah. Which is, you know, I typically hate talking about shit like that because of how polarizing it is. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of websites that really just need to pull their heads out of their asses. Oh, definitely. So, yeah, I, never mind. I was going to bring up another hot button issue, but I don't exactly want to piss everyone off. So. Yeah, it's like you might get more viewers on this on YouTube, but are they the kind of viewers you want? Yeah. Oh, that's... We were talking about Tumblr, actually. Yeah. And then we started talking about anecdotes we've heard. Yeah. Yeah, the, the mean, thing that I was bringing well, up was... Uh, calling them anecdotes is probably a little unfair. In particular, this issue... Uh, th this is one that's going to sound really fucking amazing to you, probably. Is that the Japanese person who was chased off the website for something about Japanese culture... Was somebody talking about Chihiro from Danganronpa, is, who is a character who dresses in women's clothing and, you know, is physically male and everybody is like, oh, trans character. And he blatantly says, I'm a boy in, in his script. And this person was chased off the website basically just for saying, read the goddamn game script, you stupid motherfuckers. How can you claim to be fans when you, you know... A shirt lord? <laughs> sorry. Shirt lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hag said Stop. that and I just... <laughs> fucking Stop distracted. Shirt, you asshole! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no God. top for you, son! Show us the maps! <laughs> Moobs! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, where do you think uh, those obnoxious cunts like Anita Sarkeesian came from? That yeah, bitch needs to shut her fucking mouth. And, you know, that's oh, that's gonna who piss everyone even off. Get what the hell she claims to be. Yeah. Well, technically, hell is holy because it's a place to punish the sinful. 
And, you know, Satan was... Or was it Lucifer? Whatever. Uh, fallen Angel, etc. Yeah. I mean, Lu Lucifer's name basically is Lightbringer, so... Yeah. You know. In some ways, that's a little interesting. Well, yeah. Which, you know... But, I mean, there, there's also the fact that, you know, God said don't eat this, uh, you know, for the knowledge of good and evil, and that's kind of fucked up, too, isn't it? Yeah. Blah, 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 religion is weird. Which is another thing that's going to piss a lot of people off when I say I'm agnostic atheist. <laughs> it's okay, I think a lot of people on the internet actually are. All... Well, okay, maybe not. Well, a you lot know of how people it is on the internet are opinion. like militant tier atheists and they're fucking God. morons for it. I'm just, I'm the kind of guy that is like, let me live my life, I'll let you live yours. Don't interfere with yeah, what I'm much. doing, I won't interfere with you. Yeah. But then you've got all these people who are, you know, jacking off to Richard Dawkins, and basically he's jacking off into the mirror in the first place, so yeah. it's, you know. He said, said atheist. Yeah. It's like, seriously? Like, well, shit, one of the things I was going to bring up was the whole thing with uh, marriage. You know? To me, it's not... You know, gay marriage. It's fucking marriage. Yeah. You know... This... All of this shit predates your backward-ass religion. You know... There's nothing for you to be up on your fucking high horse about. Get off it, right. pull your head out of your ass, smell the roses or the coffee. And, you know? you know, in this country, marriage also is a legal institution where it's, you know, weddings that are the religious thing. Yeah. So to make it illegal is, you know, a legalized form of, uh... <laughs> Church and state. Word, right? Yeah, discrimination, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's like, uh... We were actually talking about that at work the one day. It's like... Treat your religion like you treat your general genitals. Do with them what you want in pu in private, but don't shove don't them in my public. face. You know? Yep. When it comes to the equality thing, you know, everyone is equal in my eyes. Right. And most of them suck, but... Yeah. One thing at a time. But the thing is, you know, all these people are crying for equality, you know, specifically the feminists. It's like, yeah, equality is not making you better than me just because...